Wait for the cuddle on. It's time to go to the reef. Let's go to the reef. It's time to go to the reef. Wake up, Captain! It's time to go sailing. So, one of the jobs we did was install our little wash down pump. And um, as you can see, it is so dirty. It's been here in cans for nearly a month. And it is just filthy. And the reason we did this is because we didn't want the locker breathing through the kids' room and all oh, that's just gonna stink, so good call. Good call. So I've left Cairns this morning. Just pulled up the anchor and we're heading out the river. We're just coming past the Queenslander just to see if Jill's off camera are awake and we can wave on by <laughs> for dinner. Um, we went and had a little play on the island. It was a nice little sandy island and uh, messed around with. We've got a GoPro lens now that can do like half in the water and half out so we had a little bit of play with that. Um, that was about all. Didn't do too much. We just wanted to get in the ocean so that was beautiful. The water was amazing. And it was really nice to be back amongst the reef and in clear water. We're all really, really happy. So, we will let you know where we get to today. We don't have a plan. We're just gonna sail until we stop. So we're heading towards Lizard Island because we wanna go there and hang there and there's a, a few good dive sites off Lizard Island. Not actual on Lizard Island, but out from Lizard Island, so. Also hoping to meet up with some friends there that left before us, so they're in Cooktown. Um, so they're a little bit ahead, so hopefully we don't miss them. And that's about all. So I just 
just coming into Low Isles. This is going to be our anchorage for the night. We were planning on going a bit further, but we didn't get there. So we're going to stop here and have a big day tomorrow and hopefully get closer up to Cooktown or past Cooktown or wherever we get to. Can't plan the days, they just seem to happen. So we've just pulled up here and there's a little Owls Island. I think we're going to jump in the water and go see what's underneath. Sitting at Low Isles and there's some sharky action. Oh, out there, Bella, to your left. There, there. Down to you a bit. To your right. Three, four, they're everywhere. Woo! The shark circling the boat. So we're just getting ready to unhook from the mooring boy at Low Isles. And we're going to head towards Cairns Reef today. Hopefully we can get to Cairns Reef. Otherwise there is Hope Island underneath Cairns Reef. Um, it's about 6 o'clock in the morning. Should be about 10 or 15 knots of wind. So Let's see how we go today. The cap? Yeah, Cairns Reef. Cairns Reef. Here we come. Hopefully there's some good diving, or good snorkeling. We've underhooked us already, Ben. We are hooked. We're unhooked. No drift. Ready to go, Captain. Get to your station, mate. Here's to a good day of full winds in our sails, baby. Let's do this. It's coconut time. here too which is a big um, mountain ridge that runs the whole way down the east coast. So we're coming to tonight we're going to hopefully anchor in Cairns Reef. It's a plan. 
Hey, man, we've got a lot of wind up our bum at the moment, so let's see how we go. A lot of wind up our bum? That's yeah. a good thing. Yeah, well, not if we're going to be able to stop. Ah. Just keep going. Let's keep going to Lizard. We've got strong winds on the way, so... We've got strong winds got for Wednesday night. Behind me now, so and it's Tuesday. So Tuesday today, Wednesday tomorrow. So by Wednesday afternoon, it's supposed to be up around 30 knots. Southeast. We're in the trade wind run. So it is prone to have strong southeasterlies from up from where we are now. But um, see how we go. You want to go out to the reef and have a dive. We'll see how we go. Flying along though, we're doing seven knots. We're doing seven knots. It's quick for us, it's only a knot and a half or boat speed, so. Yeah, it's real nice. It's real nice sailing. So it's Tuesday morning, and um, we, well, yesterday our plan was to go out to Cairns Reef. Um, we left Low Isles, and our plan was to go to Cairns Reef and anchor out there for the night. But um, we decided we opted not to. We got there about three and we we're going about seven knots. We had good winds so we thought we'd continue on and um, lucky we did because the wind picked up to 20 knots and uh, we kept going to Cape Bedford which is just off Cooktown. Um, we got in last night about eight and the wind was howling and uh, we're protected in here. But um, we're going to head off this morning. This, we've still got strong winds, but they're supposed to pick up even stronger. So we're going to try and get to, well, we will get to uh, Lizard Island today. It's only it's 35 nautical miles away. Um, yesterday was a massive day. We did 70 nautical miles. So half of what we did yesterday, today. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll reef all the, we'll reef the main and, you know, put the sails in so there's not so much sail out but there's really strong winds for the next three or four days so we want to get out to Lizard Island because it's quite protected. Um, so hopefully everything goes well today and we'll be at Lizard Island this afternoon. It's a plan. We've just left Cape Bedford. Before we left, well, while we were leaving, we've um, managed to rip our mainsail. It was probably partly my fault. Um, I was at the helm putting Catalpa into the wind, so Liga put the sail up. And um, anyway, there was strong winds, and I, uh, the boat lost control, and uh, then the sails ripped. They are really old sails, but we did just have it all, um, we had it all mended to strengthen while we were in Cairns, and we should have just got a new sail. Uh, we've left now, we're just using our head sail. We do have our main still as a backup because our reef, our first, or our third reef, um, above our third reef isn't torn so it's just below so if we need to I guess we can put that up we've got 35 nautical miles to Lizard Island um, and 20 to 25 knot winds so fingers crossed everything goes okay today and we can get there safely um, yeah after we get there we'll have to sort something out but we're in the middle of nowhere so we can't just go get a new sail. I've just lost our main. It's pretty much ripped from our reef point right down. We've got around 22, 23 knots of wind. We're just sailing under head sail at the moment. Still doing about six six and a half knots. We're getting these gusts of like 30 knots coming through. 
the 33 was just before. So they're poor old sails, just uh, even though we did have it reef, I think they're just they're just too old. I don't know how old they are or how long you meant to get out of them, but I think a lot of the stitching seems to be um, rotten, so I don't know. We've been nursing them for a while now, but on our way to Lizard, we've only got another 30 nauticals to go under head sail and I don't know. <laughs> Fingers crossed we get there. We've got sort of a little bit more bad weather coming over the next few days so we really want to get to Lizard sort of to hide behind there and the winds are supposed to get stronger and they're up to 30, 35 knots after today for the next three days so we weren't really protected where we were at Cape Bedford, so we decided that it would be better to get to Lizard Island if we can. So Probably got a metre as well now, and as we get out, it's sort of getting up around, well, it's up around a couple of metres outside the reef, so probably going to see just a bit over a metre in here, but it's well. pretty nasty. not plus Getting the 23s going 25s 28s just uh, just a bit scared to put too much more head sail out the mains ripped in half a bit scared to sort of put any more head sail because I don't want to have that rip in half just you get these 30 not plus gusts come out of nowhere Nature, easy. nature of the beast. Old sails, just try and nurse it as long as we can. He is nurse. not going to leave this helm the whole day, are you, Ben? Things go from bad to worse.